Now, the family of Captain Sir Tom Moore are encouraging all of us to take on a challenge for charity starting this Friday, and that's to mark what would have been his 101st birthday. Well, the aim is to continue Captain Tom's incredible legacy after that amazing fundraising last year. When you walk through a storm, hold your head up high. Ten a day, by the time it comes to my birthday, I shall be doing more than a hundred. One little soul like me isn't going to make much difference. And my hope is it does, but it won't really. We never for a minute thought that we'd make two million. He's a one-man fundraising machine. Breaking news! I know what it is. But on his 100th birthday, he has raised £30 million. Amazing. But more. Where will it stop? I just don't know. I don't care, as long as it keeps going. Oh, I've got goosebumps watching that. Captain Sir Tom's daughter, Hannah, joins me now. How are you, Hannah? It's lovely to see you. It's lovely to see you, and we're really very well, thank you. And, and actually, it's quite emotional watching some of that. I'll be. Um, but yeah, it's incredible, though. I know there was such a, a while he was with us, such an outpouring of love. And of course, when he when he sadly died, um, so many people just were, it was like losing one of your own. It was, it was really, yeah, I know, I know we, I know you very generously shared him with all of us, but it did feel like that. And, and now we've got a wonderful way to remember him. We have, and you know, look, we willingly shared him and, and he was willingly shared. <laughs> he was very happy. And and we, whilst he was still alive and, and we had really active conversations about how we would commemorate his 101st birthday. And that's how we've come up with the Captain Tom 100. He, his DNA, his values are written all the way through it. And that's what's so incredible about it. So look, how can we all help Hannah? What can we do? Well, the whole challenge was created to be as inclusive as possible. So it doesn't matter what situation anyone's in. You don't have to be an athlete. Great if you are, but you pick up the number 100 and you challenge yourself. So you create your own challenge around the number 100. 100 sandcastles, 100 jumps, 100 hops, 100 skips, 100 cakes. And um, you sponsor yourself. You raise money for charity. You donate to the Captain Tom Foundation or any charity of your choice. This is utterly inclusive. What a brilliant idea. I think he would have approved. And you were saying, you, you talked about this because I, I've got visions of you talking to him about it because you, you talked about it when you were on holiday. He got that well-deserved holiday, didn't he, in the sunshine? He did, it was amazing. And we sat and we, we as a family said, what are we going to do um, for your 101st birthday? And he was incredibly inclusive. And he wanted, he believed in access for all. He was a massive supporter of women and girls. And, and as we sat there when he was in his shorts and his short sleeve <laughs> shirts and his sandals, we talked about what this could be. And we wanted it to be as open as possible. Pick up the number 100, his favorite number, and do 100 anythings to raise money for charity. See, that, that is great, because that means anybody, absolutely anybody can do that. I mean, and he, well, goodness me, he led the way with, with walking, you know, walking round and, round and round and round the garden. So he did, he did that anyway. So really, I mean, seriously, could I bake 100 cakes and then eat them? And that would be fine. I can just sponsor myself. You absolutely can. And somebody else I spoke to has said um, that they were going to eat 100 cakes and that would mean they'd have to do three cakes per minute whilst they were live on air. So maybe that's your challenge, <laughs> Lorraine. I could do more than that. <laughs> That'd be fine. What? See, I love that, that it can be just something funny and something that you could all do together. You know, now that we're able, to, it's getting a bit easier to, to see our families, we can all do these things together. It's great. You've got so many amazing memories, obviously, of your dad anyway. But of course, in the past year, Year, you know, up until up until sadly he died. There's so many. We saw the Queen there. She's back at work. You know, she's incredible. But that moment, and, and the Queen, she didn't get, she didn't um, come out that much. But for your dad, she absolutely made an exception. And you can really see a connection between the two of them, can't you? Oh, you really can. I mean, the last year was extraordinary. You know, my father moved in with us when he was 87. And we just felt so lucky as a family, you know, the five of us just living so harmoniously together. And that sounds trite and unbelievable, but it's true. We just loved being together. And that moment when he met the Queen and the Queen asked to see all five of us, it was just, it's hard to even put into words. It was magical. She was incredible. And their connection together 
honestly, outside COVID times, the, I would have wished only that they could have gone away and, and chatted together. It was yeah. just amazing. Yeah, it would have been lovely to see that. You're absolutely right. And how are you all doing? I mean, you must miss them. It's like there's this, you know, empty space at the table and all of that. You know, it must sometimes feel really strange. It really does. And, and I think it's important that we talk about loss and and we felt that loss so keenly like so many other people you know he was a fifth of our family and he's just here you know i opened the cupboards and he's here um his things are here and his his grandpa's room is the same and his bedroom and it's hard it's really really hard and sometimes grief gets to you doesn't it it comes from nowhere but we feel so joyful that we have this powerful lasting legacy of hope that he gave to us it's sitting in our hands and we willingly share it. This is for us, you know, the British people. This is our legacy. We, we must do everything we can to ensure that lasting legacy of hope lives on. No, you're absolutely right. I love his little book. It's one of these wee books that, if you forgive me, that you should keep either by your bedside or in the loo. I think, and I, and I think, I think he would have approved of that because he had a brilliant sense of humour. But it's such a great, you know, life lessons. And you, you know, you were saying you learned so much from him. We can all learn so much from that generation. Yeah, this book, and you're absolutely right. It could just sit anywhere where you could just pick it up. But they are his words, um, and they're everything. They're the words that we lived by. You know, walk in other people's shoes. I translate that into empathy. Understand that not everyone is in the same situation. He really meant that inclusivity, be happy every day. Think that today will be better than it was tomorrow. Make it so. I think he felt that we must be in charge of our own destiny. And these just wonderful life lessons just encourage us to think positively and with hope. And you know what else he did as well? He made, especially younger people, realise how important it is to actually talk to that generation, the older generation. We can actually learn so, I mean, we did, we learned so much from him and that, that was really important. I'm sure that's what you, you missed too, just that wisdom. Yeah, you know, we lived in this multi-generational family and, and reciprocal mentoring, it just felt alive in our house that he was able to bestow us with so much knowledge, but guess what else happened? It was the youth teaching him too. Yes. So we lived this kind of magical, it's hard to explain without sounding somehow like we've, we've got something more than anyone else. It wasn't that, it's just that we lived with this translation, this, this reciprocal mentoring of skills. It was magical to witness the children. They're, they're slightly different for it. Mm -hmm. And they grew up in an environment where it wasn't all about them. It was about someone who had different needs to them. And it just made everything so incredible. It was, it was powerful in that essence of, of sharing skills and how important older people are. Well, he was an extraordinary man. We will never forget him. His legacy absolutely lives on, Hannah. And the Captain Tom 100 Challenge starts on Friday. And we can all do our bit. That's what's so good about it. He would have heartily approved of the fact that everybody can take part. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, amazing, amazing family. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.